Google's unofficial motto had long been don't be evil. The phrase don't be evil was deeply baked into Google's corporate culture. Don't be evil, don't be evil. And served as the bat signal to always, always be on the side of good. And of course, in 2018, they removed it. And here's the thing about don't be evil. You're still trusting that the good guys would remain good. And well, look what happened. But what if we gave this a little tweak instead to can't be evil. What if we didn't have to trust anyone? Picture a truly open, free and trustless internet. One that's backed by cryptographic and mathematical proofs rather than the wills and whims of humans. Well, this is the motto of Stacks. Stax is an open source blockchain anchored to the Bitcoin network. Stax introduces smart contracts with a coding language known as Clarity, allowing dApps to be deployed on the Bitcoin network. In 2013, Munib Ali and Ryan Shea founded Blockstack, the original name of Stax. Their journey began at Princeton University's computer science department, where they developed Blockstack technology to address the challenges faced in today's websites and smartphone applications. The plan was to reduce the dependence on centralized cloud service providers, eliminating the need for applications to store user information to function. The goal was similar to Bitcoin, empowering users by offering decentralized alternatives that prioritize privacy and security. After years of research, Stax finally launched its mainnet in 2018. The project held an ICO in 2019, securing over 75 million in funding from prominent investors, including Union Square Ventures, Winklevoss Capital, Lux Capital, and more. Fun fact, the SDX token ICO was the first in history to be SEC approved, and the Stax team actually had to work closely with the SEC for over a year to make this ICO happen. A significant update to the network came in January 2020, and since then, it's been commonly referred to as Stax 2.0. This update was a major milestone that natively connected and anchored Stax to Bitcoin. Stax utilizes a mechanism called Proof of Transfer, or POX, to connect with Bitcoin. POX connects to Bitcoin with a one-to-one -one block ratio, meaning anything that happens on the Stax can also be verified on Bitcoin. In POX, Bitcoin miners spend Bitcoin to participate in mining and create new blocks on the Stacks blockchain. Unlike traditional proof of work systems, POX replaces electricity consumption with minted Bitcoin as proof of computation. Put another way, POX requires miners to spend Bitcoin to compete rather than electricity, eliminating the need for excessive energy consumption. One of the unique features of POX is its stacking process. Instead of burning the BTC used as a proxy for computing resources, miners send it to stackers who have locked their SDX tokens in exchange for Bitcoin rewards from miners. In other words, you can support the Stacks blockchain and earn Bitcoin simply by buying and locking SDX tokens. Through this connection, Stacks is able to leverage the security and network effects of Bitcoin all while adding programmability and smart contracts to the ecosystem. Since Stacks is anchored to the Bitcoin network, the time to mine a Stacks block matches the expected block time of Bitcoin, which is on average 10 minutes. But this does not mean that Stacks is only as scalable as its cousins. The Stacks blockchain has implemented a clever solution known as micro blocks, which enhances transaction throughput and speed. Stacks blocks that are confirmed simultaneously to Bitcoin blocks are called anchor blocks. And these occur every 10 minutes on average, according to Bitcoin's mining algorithm. In between those anchor blocks, micro blocks are also created, which make for rapid settlement of Stacks transactions. Transactions included in micro blocks will be confirmed once the associated anchor block has been approved. This mechanism ensures scalability for the Stacks blockchain, enabling increased transaction throughput beyond the limitations of the Bitcoin blockchain. You should know by now that STX is the native coin of Stacks. Like other coins, STX is used to pay transaction fees and can also be stacked or locked directly on the network to earn Bitcoin rewards. And just like Bitcoin, STX also has a cap supply of 1.82 billion. The issuance of STX tokens follows a having schedule that mirrors that of Bitcoin and means that a miner's rewards per block will drop from its 1,000 STX down to 
500 SDX, which is what it is currently. Then of course, 250, finally 125 SDX. Once it reaches 125 SDX, this will remain the reward for mining indefinitely. At this rate, the total SDX supply will reach the cap by year 2050. Thanks to the attention generated by ordinals as part of the Bitcoin ecosystem, Stax has also witnessed some tremendous growth. Its TVL has quadrupled since the start of this year, but at this point, the ecosystem as a whole is still relatively small compared to the leading all chains or L2s like Arbitrum and BNB chain with billions of dollars. So what are some of the major projects on Stacks. Well, there's Stack Swap, which is the Uniswap of Stacks. Alex Lab, which is the all in one solution that allows users trade, farm, earn, and even launch projects similar to Camelot on Arbitrum or Pancake Swap on BNB Chain. Arcadico, which is a self repaying loan platform using Bitcoin earned from stacking. Gamma, a Bitcoin NFT marketplace and creator launchpad on Stacks. Liquidium, a NFT lending platform and many more. There are two major updates coming our way in Stacks. First up is Stacks BTC or SBTC, a new asset that will be pegged one to one with Bitcoin. In this system, users peg in and send regular Bitcoin to a wallet controlled by stackers. This action mints an equivalent number of SBTC that can be used in smart contracts on Stacks to peg out and get their Bitcoin back, users return SBTC to the wallet. Stackers then sign these peg out requests and release the equivalent amount of Bitcoin back to the users. However, transaction speed will still need to improve and this is where the second update, Nakamoto release comes in. In this release, further speed and scalability upgrades will be introduced to improve transaction times to five seconds. By unlocking BTC liquidity through SBTC and dApps, Stacks will be able to create a flywheel economy that can help grow the ecosystem. The fact that there's 5.1 billion worth of BTC floating around in the Ethereum system is proof that there's demand for using BTC and DeFi and beyond just a simple store of value. Stacks is a groundbreaking blockchain that brings programmability to Bitcoin while preserving its security and network effects. Through its POX mechanism, Stacks creates a strong link between its native cryptocurrency currency SDX and Bitcoin fostering a mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship. Yes, the ecosystem is still relatively small in terms of TVL, but with the upcoming updates and having so close, many are already predicting an uptick in activities and demand. Interested in learning more about the Bitcoin ecosystem and ordinals? Well then check out our previous video right here.